Hey guys, it's Jake FPL Geek here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to bring you a player review on the Smolarek card. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his first name, but yeah, the Smolarek card, uh, the new World Cup foot hero, and uh, yeah, the new World Cup Marvel hero, I should say. So I've got him first owner in my pre-order Marvel Heroes pack, which I'm very excited about because his stats do look insane on the card. Uh, See, so yeah, I have played 15 games with him, I've scored 19 goals with him. And I've got six assists, which I think is a pretty damn decent return. So yeah, let's get into his player data now. So he is five foot seven. He's got the high medium work rate, left foot to three star skills, which is a bit of a shame. But then he has been upgraded to four star weak foot. So his original base card does have three star weak foot, and this one now has four, which is really nice because you can pretty much shoot on both feet now, which is I think a massive upgrade from three to four. It's so big, and it does. Uh, you do notice that in game. Uh, player details: He can play left wing, which I've got him in now because I was reviewing uh, the rule breakers Ribery as well. He can also play centre forward and striker, which is really nice. Uh, and he's obviously in the Polish league, which is a little bit of a downside with this card. The base card was in the Bundesliga, so that would have been a lot nicer. But now he is in the Polish league, which kind of sucks. Getting into the attributes now, he has incredible pace, 96 acceleration. Also, I guess bumps up to 99 in the game with the Hawk chemistry style. So he's absolutely rapid. Uh, he's got some just insane finishing and dribbling stats as well. He's got 92 attack positioning, 94 finishing. 87 shot power, 84 long shots, you know, all of those shooting stats are, you know, top tier. Um, 86 crossings well, which is pretty good, so you can play out on the wing if you want to. Uh, 92 agility, 99 balance, obviously can't get any better than that. Uh, 93 dribbling, 91 ball control, just so many 90s here. Uh, and he's got some decent stamina, and actually really good jumping and heading, which I found uh, to be, you know, quite good in game as well. 86 strength as well, and then 86 aggression as well. Just, yeah, some crazy stats there. See hero profile, and then player traits. He's only got the speed dribbler trait, which is another downside to this card. He doesn't have any really good traits. He doesn't have an you know, outside official trait. He doesn't have speed dribbler or technical dribbler. Oh, no, he has speed dribbler. He doesn't have technical dribbler. So that is a bit of an issue with Smolarek, but it's not really that noticeable in game, just because he can shoot on both feet anyway. He doesn't need outside official trait. It just would be nice. And then in striker, where I was playing him, you don't really need the outside foot shot trait because in striker you don't really do the travellers that much. So yeah, I didn't find that to be too much of an issue. But yeah, let's get into the gameplay now. So as you can see, I did play uh, 15 games, scored 19 goals and got 6 assists, which is really cool. And I think that's a really nice return uh, from Smolarek. I did play in pretty much all in foot champs and then a bit in division rivals as well. I was playing the 4-3-2-1 formation, so I was playing him as a solo striker, which... Um, could be a, a little bit of an issue with the skill moves. He might actually work better in a two striker formation, but I still enjoyed him as a solo striker. So yeah, either way, probably good in both. As I said, using the Hawk chemistry style on him. Yeah, getting into his pros, his first one has to be his pace. He genuinely feels the fastest player I've used in the game. I don't know what it is. He has these crazy pace boosts, which I've had pace boosts from players in the past that like you get the length of pace boosts and things, but his is on another level. He just literally teleports from behind the defender to in front of the defender going through on goal. It's actually nuts, you'll see it in the clips. Yeah, crazy. Uh, shooting on both feet was the next one. Shooting has to be his next pro. He, he finishes literally everything. And I didn't try too many long shots with him, but I'm sure you can score you know, long shots as well. But yeah, finishing wise, I finished everything with him on uh, both feet. I mainly was using his left foot. I don't, can't remember if I used his right foot that much, but I just never had a problem with his shooting. So yeah. Really good on both feet as well. Then his next one will be dribbling. His dribbling really feels um, comparable to Maradona from previous FIFAs. And he kind of looks a little bit like him in game. That's who I'd say if you liked Maradona in other FIFAs, uh, definitely uh, recommend trying this guy out. The skill moves is a bit of an issue. I'd like to you know, use a bit of dribbling and then use a bit of skill moves as well. So that is annoying. You just literally solely have to rely on dribbling past defenders, which isn't too much of an issue with a guy like this because his dribbling is so high. And then the next one would be his attacking AI. His attacking runs are, you know, so good. Uh, he can, he just kind of finds a space. He's just, he's, uh, what is his attack positioning? It was, eight. yeah, his attack position was 92, and it definitely felt that in game. He felt so good at making runs. He was just always available, and then obviously for a through ball, running through on goal with his insane pace. And um, so yeah, that was a really nice overall. He's just such a very solid striker. But then obviously downfall. Sometimes if you're up against, you know, a five back team and you need something creative. That's where you can go a bit wrong with his skill moves because I find to unlock some defences you need skill moves. But then again, you can just, you know, play the ball over to your wingers and then you do that anyway. But yeah, I'd say his three-star weak foot would be his first con. 
and probably his only con. He literally is a perfect striker. If he had the four-star skill moves in the weak foot, and if he had the four-star skill moves, he would be probably one of the best strikers on the game. That's the only con I could find, just because I think when you're doing build-up play, you can become predictable if you're if you don't have skill moves and i think some skill moves can really open up defenses especially if you're trying to get through and it's really difficult he really shines against obviously lesser opponents because he can just you know, dribble past them quite easily and it's through on goal and he just scores everything if you're playing against harder opponents maybe in the elite divisions this is where this guy might not be able to work for you but in the lower divisions he's insane um well I don't, i'm not playing in the lower divisions, so i don't know that but i can just tell that this guy would be really good in the lower divisions with less you know defensive capabilities against him in the higher divisions you sometimes do need skill moves to get past the you know the tamoris and the and the lucios and things so yeah sometimes that's where he can lack his dribbling doesn't you know come in clutch a lot of the time but overall i still absolutely love him if you, you just got to sort of adjust your play style to him and i think he could be an amazing striker for you he did actually carry me through weekend league which is really nice and um, i got rank three so um yeah he was really good in weekend league and I definitely enjoyed him. So, fun fact, I'd give him a 9 just because, as I said, he feels like Maradona in a game. It's actually crazy. I've really enjoyed him. And then Valley for Coins, i give him an 8 just because, obviously, you're seeing it as an estimate. I imagine he'll be around 500-600k. That's what I take a gander his price would be. Um, and if he is that price, I would give him about an 8 out of 10. If he's anything less than that, if he's 3-400k, he's pushing 9, probably 9 value. And then anything higher than 500-600k, if he's like, you know, 800k, then he's going to be obviously a lot lower than that, probably like a 7.5 7 value. So yeah, if he's around 300, 400k, which I don't think he will be, although because of the league and the skills, he could be. I just, I'm not good at really judging the market that well. If he is around that price, please pick him up and try him. He's insane. And obviously, we'll probably get to that price point eventually. Uh, and then overall rating, I'm going to give him a 9.2, just because I found him to be one of the best strikers I've used in this year's FIFA. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to just have him in my club and just use him every now and then. In game, what his card felt like? 95 pace. As I said, probably the fastest card I've used in this game. So that was one point. That was one point higher than his 94 in his card. Uh, dribbling 92, which is pretty much what he felt like. Shooting 92, which is two points higher than his 90 on his card. And then passing 84, I had no problems with his passing. So that was uh, two pace higher than his 82 on his card. It might even go higher than that. I did actually really enjoy his passing in game especially for a striker as well. And then physical 78. This was the one thing actually, that will, it's not a con because I don't think he needs strength with a card like this, but it didn't feel 85 in game. Uh, so what was the strength? Well, the strength is actually 86, like in the deep, if you deep dive in the stats. And I he felt strong, but I think when you're up against, you know, the likes of, as I said, Lucio, Tamori, those sort of players, they just outmuscle him anyway. So like you need literally to be a lengthy 90 plus strength player to outmuscle them. So I feel like most players just feel, you know, a lot weaker. But there were times where he did outmuscle uh, a few players, especially fullbacks. He can definitely outmuscle, and he did feel like he could like sp sponge defenders and bounce off them a little bit more. Obviously, that's where his strength comes into play, and that's how you power through defenses. So um, he's harder to get the ball off, which is quite nice. So I'd say it feels strong, just not that 86 strength. Maybe more that 78, as I said. That is my Smolarek player review. I'm looking forward to trying this guy out a bit more. Let me know what player you guys would like to see next. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the bell notification so you're going to find my videos go live. And I'll catch you next one.